Will Lilium be the first casualty in the electric flying revolution? What challenges are they facing that could determine their survival? Join us as we explore Lilium's high-stakes journey and uncover what it means for the future of flight. Welcome to our channel. So, Lilium GmbH is an aerospace company that started back in 2015. It was founded by four smart engineers from the Technical University of Munich. Their big idea? To shake up city travel with their electric flying machine called the Lilium Jet. This thing is pretty slick. It can carry six passengers and has a price tag of about $10 million each. It can zoom at speeds up to 300 kilometers per hour and targets a range of 300 kilometers. Unlike other flying machines that use tilting rotors, Lilium's got 30 small ducted fans built into its wings. This setup helps it carry more people, keeps the noise down, and makes it easier to handle. Things have gotten a bit rough for Lilium financially. They had to start a self-administration process because they ran out of money. Basically, they needed a 100 million euro loan from the German government, but the parliament's budget committee said no. They also got turned down for a 50 million euro loan from the Bavarian government. So, they're in a tight spot. Since they started, they've lost a whopping 1.36 billion euros, with 263 million euros lost just last year. They've tried to raise money before, like $240 million in March 2020 and $227 million in May 2023, but it's not enough to keep them steady. Lilium's got some tough competition in the flying car world. Joby Aviation snagged a $500 million loan from Toyota, which gives them a strong boost. Archer Aviation got its FAA Part 135 certification, meaning they can run commercial air taxi services now. But Lilium's not out of the game. They've got orders for 780 of their jets from operators all over the place, like the US, Europe, South America, the Middle East, and Asia. Plus, they've teamed up with GE Aerospace to work on a system that manages flight data, which should help make future flying operations smoother and safer. Lilium's engineering team is really pushing forward with getting the Lilium jet off the ground. They're planning the first flight for early 2025 and are aiming to get EASA-type certification so they can start deliveries in 2026. They've just finished powering up their first aircraft and they've got two more prototypes in the works with help from some big suppliers. They're working with GE Aerospace to use advanced flight data analytics to boost safety and performance. Plus, they're talking with the French government about a 219 million euro loan to help set up a battery factory and assembly line in France, which is super important for ramping up production. <music> to tackle their financial issues, Lilium's management is looking at a few strategic moves. By going into self-administration, they can keep control of the company while a court-appointed custodian oversees things. This could help them get new investments or even sell off some assets. The leaders at Lilium are hopeful about restructuring and are stressing how crucial it is to get state support, especially since their competitors have gotten a lot of government help. Getting new investors on board depends on showing progress in their tech development and keeping their stakeholders confident. What happens with Lilium could really shake up the EV toll industry. If they can't sort out their financial mess, they'd be the first big EV toll maker to shut down, which would set a big precedent in this still young sector. This highlights how tough it is for startups to secure funding and get regulatory approvals. As the industry grows, having sustainable business models and strong government support is becoming more and more crucial for the survival of innovative companies like Lilium. What do you think? Can Lilium overcome its financial hurdles and lead the EV toll industry? Share your thoughts in the comments below.